Hello. <laughs> um, we have been getting a lot of questions lately around cravings. Um, do we get them? Do um, how do we not give in to them? Do how we, can we keep food in the house? Yeah, do we ever give in to them? That kind of stuff. So we thought that we would do a video answering that all those questions for you. Um, the answer is yes, we do get cravings. Um, in our opinion and from our experience, usually when you have a large amount of fast like simple sugars and fast acting carbs in your system, like for us the day after our treat day, you generally do get cravings because sugar is addictive. So of course your body's gonna want more the more that you give it. Um, so yeah, cravings are normal. The reason why we don't give in to them anymore is because we allow ourselves the one day where we can eat whatever we want. Um, so if we do happen to get cravings during the week, we know and we save them for our treat day, which is Saturday. Um, when we denied ourselves, we would give in to our cravings and, and we would binge and it would be a, a cycle that would just keep going. So in our opinion and from our experience, again, there are two types of cravings. There are actual cravings and there are emotional cravings. Because Kyle and I are emotional eaters, um, we call them emotional cravings. And then we can now tell the difference between what's an emotional craving and what is like an actual craving that we will satisfy on our treat day. Um, if you are an emotional eater or a stress eater, and you are getting a lot of cravings, chances are it's not actually for the food. It's because you're used to using food to deal with your emotions um, instead of just dealing with them. So questions that you'll want to ask yourself that we used to ask ourselves and need to do that was, um, am I really hungry? Um, is, am I really hungry? for what I'm thinking of or am I just plain hungry? Because sometimes it's just that you're hungry. You don't actually need what you're craving. You just need food. Um, also, sometimes when you're dehydrated, you'll think that you're hungry, but you actually need water. Um, the other question that we ask, we would ask ourselves is, did something happen today that why we're, are we having a bad day? Did something happen that made us feel bad? Are we feeling guilty for something? Oftentimes if you've eaten something and you're feeling guilty, then your guilt will make you crave more because you automatically go into then denying or wanting to deny yourself food. So then it will just turn into a cycle. Eat it, feel guilty about it, eat more. Um, is there anything that you can think of? Um, a lot of people could just be bored. They could be tired. They could be... Um, you could be happy. Yeah, because we used to celebrate with food as well. So yeah. any and, and it's normal when you grow up, you know, birthday party, celebration, uh, any a summer barbecue is a happy time and food is always around the happy times and the sad times. So it's hard to kind of differentiate. But it is... It's normal to celebrate with food. Most people do do that. I have a lot of memories surrounded by food um, that are happy. But what you need to do is really figure out if you're hungry and if you actually want it or if you're just choosing to crave a food and binge on a food instead of dealing with why you're craving something. And we celebrate with food every week. Once yes. a week we have that treat day, cheat day. and. We are having a party that day and we yeah. it is a celebration and do we physically need all that food? Probably not. No, but But we it's it's uh, it, it's a reward. It keeps all of our cravings at bay. Yeah. We can keep food in the house. We no longer binge. So for us, it works. It's how we manage our yeah. emotional eating basically. It works for us and it it might not work for you guys, but we can now tell the difference between what an actual craving is and when, when we're craving things just because we don't want to deal with something. And in our opinion, yeah. there's, there's no such thing as willpower. Um, there's no such thing as 
just all of a sudden changing your life in an instant and saying, well, I guess I don't need any more sweets or ice cream or anything. It's, uh, you just have to manage it a bit better. That's how we really found success. Yeah, and, and chances are, if you, say you've given yourself a treat day and then you get cravings right after, see if you're feeling guilty about your treat day because a lot of the time, cravings are caused from guilt. Like I said, most of the time it's guilt and denial and so you're rebelling you said, oh gosh, I just ate something that I'm not supposed to eat, it's not healthy, it's gonna make me gain weight, so no more of that. Then your guilt and your denial of that food is gonna make you eat even more of it or of something else. And most of the times, um, there is the other side, there is physical cravings, but most yeah. times it's not physical cravings, but you just, you still have to be aware. I mean, if you're exercising really hard or you have a, a long day at work or whatever and you're not fueling properly, you are gonna get way more cravings. So you have to yes. make sure to manage your actual, what your body actually needs physically for your carbs and protein and all that, but. Just know that there are two types and also remember that tip about sometimes hunger and cravings um, come disguised as dehydration. Yeah. Make sure that you've had enough water, make sure that you haven't skipped any meals. Um, First, make sure that you're not actually physically just hungry for food, for balanced food, whole food. Then figure out if you're craving because of something that happened or because you're feeling guilty or because you just want to reward yourself with something. And if it is yeah. for emotional reasons, make sure you reach out and talk to somebody, even if it's yeah. us on our comments on YouTube or anybody in your, your your friends or your family or anybody you have just start talking about it and that's what really helped us too and then if you're still craving that after you go through all of those steps then it might actually be a physical craving and it's okay to have those and it's okay to give in to those but we just know for us it works to save them up and eat them on one day and then we're done with it for the week um, if you need to have something have it but remember don't feel guilty because um, you have to work on letting go of the guilt and that's taken us a very very long time and I can finally and Kyle can finally have a treat day where we don't feel guilty but that takes a very long time so you'll have to work through the guilt on on when you actually have a craving and you eat something and again reach out to us reach out to somebody about that but um, it's okay to physically crave something, um, anything, you know? So try not to beat yourself up for that and tell yourself that no, you can't have it. Just remember, do not deny yourself, but make sure that it's an actual craving and, and not something else first. So yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out and answered some of your questions. Um, thank you guys so much for sharing. And again, remember any questions or comments you have, please leave them on our YouTube channel um, and we'll do our best to get back to you. Um, don't forget to check us out on Instagram and most important, don't forget to like and subscribe because if you don't, this time again too. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs>